Okay, this is the most pivotal point that you're gonna hit in a new relationship, okay? And as a professional matchmaker doing this 15 years, I have seen this happen time and time again, okay? So hang on. Do you know what it is? Have you guessed? It is your first fight. It is when everything's going lovely, going along so great, and you're, ooh, googly-eyed, and then there's that speed bump in the road, and you will all hit it at some point. And if you don't, I have to say, well, then what's really wrong with that relationship? Something ain't right. So anyway, fortunately in my world, when these speed bumps happen, and you will hit the speed bump, believe me, it's fortunate for my clients that my guys come to me, they tell me what's happening, the woman comes to me, and I can be a neutral party that helps right the ship. But you don't have that happening. You're, you're left to your own devices. So here's a few things that you need to pay attention to and things you need to do. Okay, hang on. Number one, this is a crucial point that you're going to find out if you guys have similar fighting styles, okay? Are you guys going to handle disagreements the same way? Do you communicate the same way? And it's really easy to say, oh, when we have our first fight, this is what we're going to do. This is how I'm going to handle it. Pie in the sky. But when it's actually happening in real time, that's when shit gets real. And that's when you find out what you're really dealing with with someone. So if you're someone who likes to communicate and you're with, and now you suddenly find out you're with somebody who pulls away and does like, I'm gonna put you in a timeout kind of scenario, this may or may not make for a compatible long-term relationship, but there is something you can kind of do, so hang on. You can be the bigger person in, in the scenario, okay? Don't wanna get all caught up in the heat of the moment. Take a minute and then come back and say, hey, you know what? I don't feel great about what happened and I wanna talk about it. Can we at least clear the air and I can share how I felt and you can share how you felt. Now, what you're doing is you're giving this person an opportunity to step up, okay? Now, hopefully they do, but if they're just somebody who just fully wants to be a big baby and pout about it, then this is a sign you have to pay attention to. You guys have two different styles of communicating, two different styles of fighting. So this relationship, in my opinion as a matchmaker, is not going to be sustainable for the long term. Because how can you be somebody that wants to communicate be, and be with somebody who doesn't, right? That's gonna, tr that's gonna trickle down to everything you guys are gonna do moving on into the future. It's all great when things are all great, but how you guys deal with conflict is really the make it or break it and really the pivotal point in a new relationship, all right? I hope it helps.